Hello ladies and gents, welcome back to another video. I am GGJ and today we will be discussing whether or not Facebook is a positive step for paladins. First and foremost, in my humble opinion, I do not believe it is. I believe uh, they've spent this time building up the Paladins game channel. Uh, we've had lands being broadcast on the Paladins game channel and stuff like that. And people have spent time and effort and a lot of money from high res building that channel up. Money doesn't seem to be an issue for them. So, uh, in my opinion, I think this is a waste of time. Um, there's a couple of reasons why. Uh, we'll go over them in a short bit. Uh, but uh, I'd want to quickly start off by saying uh, this doesn't come from me. This was an estimate from uh, DM Brandon. I was going to go ahead and pull this up on screen for you right now. There we go. DM Brandon, I would estimate 8 to 10 million for high res in this. Now, PC Gamers N on Twitter uh, basically announced this um, on the 7th of September, and which was yesterday. I'm curious as to why they're going down this route. Now, Bacon50 put out a quick vlog on Twitter on his phone, and the following is what he said. One, money, two, money, and three, money. Now, he happens to be right on all accounts, and uh, yeah, they're sacrificing uh, their viewership for money. Now, if Dean Brandon's estimate is correct, this could be a good thing for paladins now personally uh, the only way i can see this being a positive is because that 10 million will go back into the development of paladins or prize pool maybe so i've got a couple of questions and a couple of gripes that i want to get off my chest one if this is the case will hrx be streamed on facebook and two will the hrx um prize pool be bumped up from whatever it is we've been having 150k 200k whatever it is now if they're getting this sort of money can we have a 1 million prize pool smite's got it and let's face it paladin has been outperforming so can we get 1 million in the prize pool for hrx uh the normal lands like dream hack and whatnot and the atlanta and stuff like that sure 150k 200k fine no problem you can afford it especially if those estimates are correct so my my genuine concern is that can they recover from this facebook fiasco and go back to twitch after their contract with facebook has finished now facebook is coming into the esports industry and they want to bring in new ultimate terms of revenue for esports which is absolutely great because facebook earns a shit ton of money now it's a billion dollar company just like google and the rest of them um that's great but why did it have to be us why high res? Why did it have to be us? We had a good thing. We look at the last LAN, yeah, DreamHack, when it was Kuji versus uh, Cryptic, or which is now uh, G2 Esports. Outstanding. What an amazing match. And people standing, shouting, screaming off of their seats. Standing ovation for when Cryptic won this. It was outstanding. It was one of the best lands we've ever had, if not the best land in Paladin's history. I say that and it's only been around for 1.5 years. But paladin's history yeah this is a good thing and then you announced wessa partnering up with high res i was over the moon i was going crazy the world of paladins was going crazy and then you literally 180 facebook okay now let's go over the cons of facebook F facebook personal data stores it open to view if you type in the chat and you put it up your real name's on there anybody can cl click on that and see who that is okay so why would they do that hmm here's a thought link your twitch to your facebook and use your twitch username on the facebook chat system maybe that work oh yeah that's right they're in direct competition with twitch right so are we going to get our own uh, usernames for these live uh, streams because if it stays the way it is now that's not going to work that's nasty that's bad so next up is um viewership pgs na last night had 227 viewers uh if not a little bit more for the maximum amount of viewers bugsy gets that on a daily stream stolzy gets that on a daily stream you know these guys get this on the daily streams and then you go over to facebook so let's go 
average viewership for the Paladins game channel is between 1.9 and 3,000 viewers. So everything everybody's saying is right. Hyra's doing this for the paycheck. That's all there is. My concern is can we recover from that going into um, HRX? I mean, if you stream HRX on Facebook, that's just a no-go. That will not go down well and everybody will jump on you. There's, this is a bad thing, period, and no one wants it now. Just imagine if you release the information. Oh, by the way, we're going to be streaming on Facebook for HRX. Oh, God, save me now. It's not going to work. <laughs> Nobody wants that. I mean, you know, this is a bad idea. Just, just no. Good grief and Lord Almighty, no. But, hey, there is some co there is some pros to it. I was about to say more cons, but no, there is some pros to it. Again, like I said, $10 million, if the estimate from DM Branding is correct, can go into uh, R&D, more development, hiring new staff, maybe more production, I don't know, uh, better equipment, whatever, it does, whatever, you know. But, again, can we increase the prize pools of our tournaments? Well, let's face it, yes, that would be a good thing. Why? Because you just signed on with Wessa and they take a percentage of the e earnings, remember? It was in the announcement, or however that goes. But I won't get into that because I don't know the ins and outs of it, and I'm not likely to. So, um, cons, I've gone over the pro, pros, money. That's about it. I can't find anything else on a pro for this Facebook thing. Cons, lots of viewership, thousands of viewers. We're not talking small numbers, we're talking thousands. Out the window, go on. Thanks for coming, go back to Twitch. Uh, second off is massive buffering. You get stupid amount of buffering on uh, Facebook. My internet's brilliant. In fact, it's one of the best in the UK. And I'm telling you now, I buffer. It's horrible. It's like, what? No, please. Good God. I feel like I'm in the 90s watching it. Oh, we're on dial up or something. Bad move. Go back to Twitch. Uh, and last but not least, bad chat system. You put out there, that's your real name. So, for instance, guess what? When we're in Twitch, Vox likes to talk to the... Uh, audience you know he likes to interact with um the viewers in twitch chat whilst uh evan and nick cast that's great so what's he gonna do is he gonna do that in facebook uh i don't think he's gonna do that with his personal facebook account so oh yeah but jay they can you know they can make false account really just to watch a stream why would they do that like literally why would they do that um I have got one way out of this, right? If you can connect your group, like I have a group on Facebook for my GGJ where people can follow my interactives and stuff like that. If I can connect and use my name as GGJ on that chat rather than my real name, I'm fine. I will never, until I know that is safe, never type in a uh, Facebook chat. It's not going to happen, right? Now, I've got plenty of friends from Facebook, uh, of, from high res on my Facebook friends list. I'm not going to type that in, and then people can go through there and start stalking high res employees. What? Did you not think of this? This is like a. No, this is dumb. This is. I know there's money involved. There has to be. There's no way they would do this off a whim, all right? So, uh, Bacon 5 I've said it the best money, money, money. Uh, high res, please don't do this. I, it's too late now but like i said i want to know if this is going to continue or is it only contracted for the ppb uh, ppl because if it goes to uh, hrx you are shooting your game in the foot when it's when it can just explode so rather than exploding it's going to implode and destroy itself because you made a wrong decision i don't think it's smart i don't think it's necessary and i think you should uh, really think about what you're doing when it comes to facebook 10 million you could have made that in chess money or anything like that you do not need or other t other means of uh revenue hell you could have went into the google esports side you know bart from high res before bart and kelly that's where they went so why couldn't you go down that route google has good stuff you know oh wait google's youtube oh there you go why not go to youtube you know any other thing but facebook i just can't fathom why you're doing this other than money because your, your viewership, your pros and that, they're not there at all. They're not there. They're on Twitch. Twitch is the steam of esports. Why would you do it? Every other major esport title 
CSGO, League of Legends, Dota, everything, everything is on Twitch. And you go to Facebook that has crap buffering, has a crap chat system, and quite frankly, isn't secure in my opinion. I don't think it is. And quite a lot of other people don't think it is either. Um, can it be recovered uh, after your contract ends with Facebook or whatever it is that you're doing with Facebook? Um, we Here's to hoping, because if not, you are shooting your game in the foot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.